really, 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 really expensive hair. And I don't really get that much uh, expensive, expensive, expensive hair all the time. That was some really luxury hair. I mean, I'm saying a girl do like luxury sometimes. There's nothing like chilling with my girls. Just me and my divas taking over the world. Hey love, so for this video we're going to be using some dark and lovely fade resistant hair dye. I do believe this is like the 378. I can't really remember the number offhand, but I'll definitely link it below. I'm going to go ahead and open the package. It does come with a developer and the color as well as a conditioner and some good old plastic gloves. So you want to go ahead and pour that into the developer and shake it up really well. I like to use a bowl because it just makes life so much more easier, especially because I'm going to be applying this to the wig. And yes, I do tap all on the sides because I'm getting all of the product out. Yes, sorry. Mm -hmm. I do believe it looks like it's a 378. Now, just to add a little bit of extra, I'm going to use the Pristine Light Bleaching Dye in the color Violet. And I'm going to use a 30 developer along with that. You don't really need much because it already is kind of very, very liquidy. And I'm just going to stir that in the pot. Stir the pot right on up. As you guys can see from the Prasim lights, it does have a, or that, I think that's what it's called. It's going to give it a purplish tone, but it's also going to allow me to have more product. Now you do want to use some clips and clips and clips for your hair. Now this is actually Brazilian straight in the lens of... 8, 20, 18, 18, and 16 inches, along with a 16 inch closure. And it is from Trending Beauty Hair, one of the top shops where you can get really affordable weaving hair, closures, frontals, and all that good stuff. So, as you guys see, I did go ahead and separate the hair. And I'm just going to take some of it and I'm going to take one of those clips and I'm just going to pin it up and I'm going to begin you know, coloring the bottom underneath portion of this unit. So I do saturate the ends of the hair really well and I kind of work my way up. Once I've gotten like probably midway, halfway up, I do take the um, brush that you see me with and I kind of like point the bristles downwards so that way only what's on the tip of the brush will touch the hair giving it and allowing me to put streaks in it but the hair is very nice like i said it is from trending beauty hair and this is the brazilian straight i have been working with a lot of brazilian straight hair lately and i will say it is kind of very easy to curl especially if you don't flat iron it and then decide to curl it afterwards but as you guys can see right here i'm just painting on the hair dye and I do leave it on the hair for about two hours I do if I do remember correctly um it is box dye of course there is a hint of regular professional bleach in it but there's more hair dye than everything now I'm not saying do this to your unit I mean it's up to you don't say that I force you but I just like to use the box dye a lot better because it is 100% less effective you'll receive a lot more product or not even a lot more product but you won't receive as many brassy tones if you're using box dye so i do use a lot of box dye especially for like brown colors and this is just a process where you just repeat it over and over and over again as you guys see right here i'm just repeating everything that i'm doing which is kind of time consuming tedious and you know it is what it is but for the most part the hair came out well it did shed a little bit when i washed it nothing excessive but they all shed now this is the last portion which was the closure part and I kind of left it in a ponytail type of thing on the top I wanted to separate it but I do remove it and the color outcome of this unit was really really pretty so make sure you check out trending beauty hair I'll link all of the information below and let me know what you think of this unit two days later okay guys so I am done with all of that styling or dyeing of the hair all that good stuff it actually came out really nice some hair that i use that box dye on is like a lot um 
lighter this was a different color this was more or less like that soft honey blonde the other colors that i was using was the bleach blonde like it was a bleach blonde so of course it would make it lighter um and i didn't have those colors i only had like the honey blonde one box of that dye was enough for the entire unit like i wasn't trying to dye the whole thing i just wanted to give it like you know some brown in it little highlights in it up here you know just from the way that i was like raking in the hair of the um the brush with the brush you know you get like strokes of brown up in here as you guys can see you know if you can i hope you guys can see you can see it now like it has like streaks of brown in it and that's just from the way of me holding the brush in the video i kind of like hold the brush um like this these are the brush bristles and i rake it in the hair so that way only the tips of the brush are touching the hair and not the entire brush it curled so easy this is not the one and a half inch brow this is like the one inch brow i think yeah this is the one inch brow it took me like 15 no it took me like 25 minutes 25 minutes to curl this entire unit which was good because normally it take me longer it is the brazilian straight in it and this is 18 18 and 16 inches with a 16 inch closure i like this closure because it's a three-part closure so i didn't have to tweeze anything i left the part and it's natural like size you know and just put it on the right side you know i don't really do the right part so much but hey switch it up i did add my own little you know combs in it comb in the front two in the front and one in the back you know and that's it. So the only thing that I have to do is cut the lace off of it, which is like one, two, three. Now, I was going to curl it on camera, but I figured you guys have seen that enough. There's nothing really new to curling any hair on camera. So, so as far as it shedding, it did shed. Not like excessively, but it did shed. But when even when I use like the box dye, sometimes it makes the hair, the ends of the hair, a little dried out. And so I did notice that with this particular unit that the ends were a little bit dried out. Dried. Um, so lately I've been using this Estee Lauder Longwear Foundation because it kind of like matches. Well, I don't know if it really matches, but it matches my face and that's all that matters. I'd rather it match my face than match nothing at all. You know what I mean? Like be like that pale white color, then I would look a mess. And I don't really like looking like a mess. Like... I mean, I don't mind looking a mess sometimes, but, like, you know, like, if I don't have to, then, especially if I'm in public, like, I don't really be wanting to look a mess. Yes. So, first things first, the cap that I used was a Q-Fit. I think that's what they're called, cap. And I got an extra large cap here, so it is a little bit roomy, but it's best for people that have a lot of hair to have, like, this particular size cap because it just fits their head a lot better. You don't have to worry about being too small, especially if you've got a lot of hair underneath there. Then you need, if you have a lot of hair, then you definitely need an extra large cap because if you don't, that, that regular size cap is just so tight to me. It's kind of tight. To me, it just fits my head, and I have thin hair. So I would highly suggest if you have, like, thicker hair, and more hair than I do, or it's coarser than mine, I would definitely suggest getting like the extra large cap. It's so much more roomier, and I would rather have to take it in, like pinch it in a little bit versus it being too tight and not fitting properly. That's I'm just gonna use this topic because my hair is a little bit thinner in the front. And it's great for if you have very thin hair, if you have balding edges or balding spots in your head, this is just a hair, fill, hair building fiber. And it actually looks like really tiny little hairs that are more shaved, like you know when you get your hair shaved. That's what it looks like.
Okay, you guys, so trendy hair, okay? Trendy beauty hair, okay? So I think it looks really cute like this. Like it's all, you know, put together. It The color looks nice. Um, I like the size of these curls because they just look so pretty. It makes the hair look a lot more fuller versus me using like the one and a half inch brow. That kind of makes the hair a little bit flatter, you know what I mean? So it's not as full. So I do really like it at this volume because you guys know I love big hair, okay? Not too big, but I do like some nice full hair. And like I said, the ends were a little bit dry. I'm pretty sure you guys can see that, but that can definitely be fixed with just like some really good deep conditioner okay you can definitely use some deep conditioner and it will fix the problem but at 18 inches you see i had to go put on some big earrings just to kind of like bring it out but for the most part the hair is nice quality um it's affordable hair so if you're thinking that it's going to last you for an eternity then just realize this you're not even going to be around for an eternity and i guarantee you when you're like 90 95 you're probably not even going to want to wear really really long wigs you know i don't know but it will last you long enough to where you'll get your hair's worth, you'll get your money's worth. And if you take care of it, it's definitely going to last longer, especially if you're not sleeping in it, if it's a wig. Um, I do like the color. It's very soft, okay? Um, I just think box dye is the easiest thing. I don't really try to do too much. I'm not trying to be too, like, stuck with bleaching and dyeing because I know I can ruin something, okay? I can definitely ruin something. So I try to take the easy route out, but it's it's nice hair. Um, it just needs a little love and tender care. It just needs some deep conditioning. Um, but I've had this issue with a lot of my units that have like um, dive and dive. The ends are a little bit drier. The only ones that I have not had that um, happen to me on is like that really, 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 really expensive hair. And I don't really get that much uh, expensive, expensive, expensive hair all the time. But that was some really luxury hair. I mean, I'm saying a girl do like luxury sometimes. Hmm. So I hope you guys have a great Christmas holiday. And I will see you guys soon in a soon to come video. Of course, you know that because I upload a video every single day. I love you guys. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs this video up. And yeah, watch it and share it. I love you guys.